Good evening, everyone. This is Tina, and uh, this is gonna be my last video of today. And uh, this video, I'm gonna just show you briefly. Show you uh, if we if you want to using Java classes to do the configuration instead of using the XML XML file. Okay, um, it's not very. It's pretty easy because if you have experience, you don't need to look at this video. Uh, I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create another package so you can keep all the reference Java config, okay? And uh, here, uh, same thing, I'm gonna create a customer, just a copy paste here, okay? Have a uh, customer here, okay? So we start from beginning, okay? And uh, we have another uh, Java config man. How about that? Bad naming. Okay. And uh, here we have a man. Okay. And uh, in order to initialize, we have to use in the Java classes, right? So we create a app config. First thing we need to add the configuration, right? So we can define beans. And the first thing I'm gonna do is define a bin, okay? Public customer, C U S T O M E R. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is a type customer, customer, okay? And I will use return new customer, okay? So in this case, we define bin, and if we we have the default constructor. And here, system uh, default const default construct being called right. And uh, next one is uh, I define be here. Next one is uh, here. I want to using new annotation annotation uh, config application context here. Uh, oh, sorry. Here I using app config dot class. Okay, so once you do that, the Spring we are trying to using this configuration class to start to set up uh, our application. Okay, and here you define bin. So Spring we are trying to uh, have the bin initialized for you. So this one will be called. This is a destruction. Sorry, I have to run again. That's why. Okay, I have to run from here. Okay. See here, you are see the folder constructor is being used, right? Okay. And the next thing is uh, for the startup, uh, for the creation. For the aware and all the things I don't want to go through because it's the same. I just want to show you if you want to have the custom init method, okay? So to have the custom init method, what you can do, uh, not this one. Let me close all of them here. You create public uh, void uh, cu uh, custom init. Uh, system out customer init method being called the other aware interface just implement they are exactly the same okay then how to register this one to do that you go to the app config and in the bin this annotation it you can register here see here init method just do a method so what you can do is here you can have init method equals uh, this this method Okay, and uh, if you want to have destroy method, you can also have destroy method. Take a look at. So in this case, your init method will be called after construct your C init method. And if you want to uh, using the what's the thing? Uh, if you want to using the don't you want to define like this way? You can have also using the component scan. Okay. And here you can using Java config. And by doing that, 
you have to make sure this one has a component. It still works. Okay. But in this case, this one won't be called. Okay. It will call your car customer constructor. And if you want to also this one be triggered, you using what? Post constructor. Okay, you can call your post constructor. Will also be triggered. Uh, first is constructor, then customer init. This is the one. And uh, suppose you want to test for the destroy. Okay, uh, we can do is we can add a dynamic public void custom destroy. Okay. The other interface is exactly the same. Okay, you can take a look at the other video. Oh, CVST. Oh, no, not a customer. Custom. Okay, custom destroy. Okay, and here you have to add a pre destroy. And only when the customer is a singleton, if it's a prototype, it won't to call pre destroy. Okay. Uh, uh, again, here we have to shut down, right? Application context, context equals and and I have to have abstract application context to do the casting on the context in order to get this register shuttlecock. Otherwise, you cannot get that. And when we do that, during creation, your constructor custom init will be called, and during destroy, your customer destroy will be called. And uh, if you don't want to using the annotation, if you don't want to use annotation, then you can use in the same way, like this way, to register init method, uh, no, destroy method, then you give the method name, like this one. Okay, like this one. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, I think in this case you're gonna have two beans. Uh, both of this one kind of like ignored somehow. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, you got the idea. Okay. Uh, let's see. Name. Let's give a name. See what's gonna happen. I never done this before because normally I either using the the uh, this way or either using this way. Okay. So now you can see two beans are being called. This one, the first time, first bean being uh, being uh, initialized, and this is second bean being initialized, and this is uh, two custom destroy. One is destroy this cast. The other one is to destroy this customer. By default, the bean name for this one is customer, which is this one is a lower case. And in this case, we have two, okay? If we don't have this one, because it's a singleton, right? Singleton, so it only has one initialized for this class. That's why it's only show one, okay? And in this case, we have two, okay? So uh, this is uh, if you want using Java class to do the configuration instead of XML. Um, most uh, of them are exactly the same, uh, just probably here is a little bit different, okay? So if you still have a question, you can leave a comment below. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.